This week on Outdoor Nation TV, we are headed north, up the highway, to the Big Buck State of Kansas. Welcome to our show. We are one. Well, good morning from Kansas. So excited to be here, Boa. It's November the 2nd. We rolled in uh, Halloween night, and I spent yesterday uh, going around, checking stands, cameras, setting some stands, getting it all ready. So this is our first morning here, and it's 37 degrees, and I didn't dress warm enough. <laughs> really excited to be. That's a pretty buck. That was a pretty deer. Uh, I think he was probably a three-year-old. But he had a nice frame on him. Just, just a little young. I mean, first day. <laughs> so, we're after a lot bigger buck than that. But, what an encounter. He came through this thick stuff straight to the tree and walked five yards from the tree. Well, hey folks, welcome back to Kansas. Jeez, <laughs> we get that African killer bee away from me here. Hold on just a second. Good golly, did you see the size of that thing? Okay, here we go, take two. Hey folks, welcome back to Kansas. It is my first afternoon set. Uh, it's gonna be a good hunt. Take a look at this thing. Well, it started out pretty slow in Kansas. Um, I had a good encounter with a young eight point first morning. But other than that, it was dead and, uh, and it just wasn't going yet. So I decided I was gonna pack up, go head back to the house and hang out with the family, do a little bit of hunting there. But little did I know, 
whenever I got back to the house, I started feeling bad. And I had got COVID and brought it back from Kansas and gave it to the whole family. Experience the traditions and history of the Potawatomi people at the Citizen Potawatomi Nation's Cultural Heritage Center. Its 11 galleries tell an in-depth story of the tribe from early oral traditions and pre-European contact to removal and modern Potawatomi history. After touring, stop by the gift shop to browse original works by Native American artists, handmade jewelry, unique home decor, accessories, and more. The origins, traditions, and history of the Potawatomi people await you at the Citizen Potawatomi Nation's Cultural Heritage Center. You know, it's been said if you're not reaching back to help someone, you're not building your legacy. Rainmaker's legacy began with our grandfather, then our father, who taught us success is more than just making money. It's about the relationships and making a difference. We hope that when we give back to our community, we impact people's lives, improve their future, and our values are passed down to our children. Hopefully, we inspire other people to invest in our community. Randy's Tire and Alignment has a loyal customer base built on trust, talent, and time. We love what we do, and your trust fuels our business. Our talented auto repair professionals bring years of experience, skill, and education. We take the time to listen to you and understand your needs or goals for your vehicle. Randy's Tire and Alignment, where we treat you like family. Welcome to Shawnee Feed Center. You want mud boots? We got them. You want car hard gear? We got them. Vet supplies? We got that too. We've got livestock feed that's made here locally since 1906. Dog food, pet food? We got that too. We got tons of it, literally. Seed and fertilizer? We got that too. We have cone seeders. We have discs. We have rotor tillers. So come and see us here at Shawnee Feed Center. We have everything that you need. I decided I was going to pack up, go head back to the house and hang out with the family, do a little bit of hunting there. But little did I know, whenever I got back to the house, I started feeling bad and I had got COVID and brought it back from Kansas and gave it to the whole family. I'm just getting over uh, the COVID virus. I'm on the downhill slide. so. It was a little rough there for a few days, but there's only so long I can stay in the house. So I quarantined myself to this hunting shack with nobody around, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Didn't have much luck in Oklahoma, but it was starting to get a little later. It was the 8th or 9th of November, and I had talked to Larry Ellis, and nobody was in the cabin up in Kansas. And so I decided, you know what, I'm gonna go quarantine in Kansas by myself and go up there and, and uh, get some hunting in. There's a big tin in here that we're hunting. Of course, any other big buck's fine too but we know there's a really big tin in here. So, stay tuned, it ought to be good. first set to ever set here and you talk about an interstate got i-40 here and i-35 here and 44 here bunch of does 
getting chased by a little bug. It's my first afternoon set. And uh, this morning was, uh, they put on a show. We, I saw six or seven different bucks. Probably 12, 14 different does. So hopefully this afternoon will be on again. Well, it wasn't long after I arrived in Kansas that I knew I was there at the right time. It was gonna be a great week in the state of Kansas. Got in here real early this morning. Firelight gives back to the United Way of Pottawatomie County, which helps support 23 nonprofit agencies throughout our entire community. Firelight gives back to North Rock Creek Public Schools in Pottawatomie County and allows us to purchase spiral hams at a discounted rate to help our baseball program with fundraising. Firelight gives back to the Shawnee Kiwanis Club to help make our annual pancake feed a success and allows us to improve the world one child and one community at a time. Firelight Discount Foods, your community grocer making a difference. I've made a very good living playing guitar and writing songs, and that's my job, and I love it. I consider myself very fortunate. You can be from a very, very small town like this and reach for a star and get it. I'm old enough to know better, but I'm still too young to care. I came because I had an ill-fitting partial. I was extremely ashamed of my appearance and my smile. My first visit, I came in tears, and I was reassured by Dr. Hall about how everything was going to be okay. They was going to be able to help me. We followed that treatment plan around my budget. It is worth a million dollars to me. I just feel beautiful. <laughs> Visit our website, ImplantSurgeryCenter.com, to get your smile transformation started today. Well, we're at a place we call the uh uh, or I call it the the Winter Wheat Creek. Uh, one of Darren's family members owns it. 
Man, it's a good looking spot. It's a big river bottom down here. It's so awesome getting to come to Kansas, and having friends and be able to fix you up where you got, you, you know you got this whole river bottom to yourself. I mean, it doesn't get much better than Kansas. I promise you. so far I've seen a lot of three and a half and under bucks lots of chasing and grunting and all that kind of good stuff it's been action-packed so hopefully we'll see a big one roll in here just not not from behind me supposed to be 20 mile an hour plus all day and I'm in here in the honey hole again so winds fixing to change out of the north so I won't be in here for a day or so hopefully we can have something come in blowing about 25 to 28 miles an hour um, but can't kill them on the couch right so I'm not gonna get up in a tree stand <clears throat> so I'm in a pop-up blind double bull blind right here on the edge of that wheat field that I hunted the other night
Firelight gives back to the United Way of Pottawatomie County, which helps support 23 nonprofit agencies throughout our entire community. Firelight gives back to North Rock Creek Public Schools in Pottawatomie County and allows us to purchase spiral hams at a discounted rate to help our baseball program with fundraising. Firelight gives back to the Shawnee Kiwanis Club to help make our annual pancake feed a success and allows us to improve the world one child and one community at a time. Firelight Discount Foods, your community grocer making a difference. I've made a very good living playing guitar and writing songs, and that's my job, and I love it. I consider myself very fortunate. You can be from a very, very small town like this and reach for a star and get it. I'm old enough to know better, but I'm still too young to care. You know, it's been said, if you're not reaching back to help someone, you're not building your legacy. Rainmaker's legacy began with our grandfather, then our father, who taught us success is more than just making money. It's about the relationships and making a difference. We hope that when we give back to our community, we impact people's lives, improve their future, and our values are passed down to our children. Hopefully, we inspire other people to invest in our community. Experience the traditions and history of the Potawatomi people at the Citizen Potawatomi Nation's Cultural Heritage Center. Its 11 galleries tell an in-depth story of the tribe from early oral traditions and pre-European contact to removal and modern Potawatomi history. After touring, stop by the gift shop to browse original works by Native American artists, handmade jewelry, unique home decor, accessories, and more. The origins, traditions, and history of the Potawatomi people await you at the Citizen Potawatomi Nation's Cultural Heritage Center. Well, I decided to hunt this little food plot in the middle of this farm, uh, and the only green thing in a mile was this little acre food plot, and I thought I was going in early enough uh, but for all you 10 to 2 hunters, this is why you hunt 10 to 2. November the 17th and I've already had the old grunt buck come through before camera light. I call him that just because he just lights the woods up grunting. It's awesome. And a couple of does. So I don't have much time left here in Kansas. My wife Nicole is being super cool. About 10 minutes after I did my rattling sequence, um, what all deer hunters, all bow hunters love to hear is walking in the leaves, that chomp coming closer to you. And I looked over my left shoulder and I, all I could see was wide rack coming through the thick stuff from the bedding area. 
and that big buck was coming to see who was fighting in his territory. You guys are probably thinking, why in the heck, Rick, did you shoot him at 12 yards? He's standing there broadside, ready for the arrow. And I just couldn't do it. I had the camera in my hand, on the arm, I was focusing in, staying focused on the deer, and my bow was hanging up in the tree. I hadn't even grabbed my bow yet. And as soon as he made that turn, turned away from me, I put the camera on him, backed it up where you could see the screen, reached up and grabbed my bow, got it all quick as I could, ready. And as you guys could see, I grunted him to stop right before he got out of my window to shoot. droplets of blood and I don't know why I don't know if it's plugged up or what but I looked up <laughs> I could see his horns oh. I want to give a special thank you to Darren Grow who I tell you what Darren put me on this deer he said man if you'll if you'll stay with it You'll get that deer. He's been daylight. Seven days it took me, but we got it done. Well guys, that's why I like to go to Kansas. That is why Kansas is one of the biggest buck states in the United States of America. It is awesome, awesome hunting, and it's always wild and crazy if you can hit it at the right time. So if you guys ever get a chance to go to Kansas, I highly recommend you go. You, you will not be disappointed. And I know that every year I can go, I'm gonna be in Kansas hunting that first or second week in November. So you guys tune in next week, because we got Jared and Kristen here in central Oklahoma chasing those big old whitetails on their farms. It'll be a great episode, I hope you watch.